Hello guys, how's it going? Alex Grand Pion here, I hope you're well. So today I've got Audi A3 2007, 2.0 litre TDI, and this is going to be the same video if you've got 1.9 TDI or 2.0 litre TDI in different cars as well. So what I've done today is I've replaced the gearbox, the flywheel and the clutch, and I need to bleed the clutch fluid now because obviously I've got new bits on there. Uh, I thought it might be handy. It's part of my main video where I've done the gearbox replacement, but I thought I'd do a quick one, just a part in case you replace some clutch components or run out of brake fluid or any other issues that your clutch pedal doesn't feel good anymore or stays all the way down to the floor. So to bleed it is not a bad job. I do recommend having someone else helping you, to be honest, to press the clutch inside there if you need to. And also, obviously, don't forget you will need a brake fluid to top up your reservoir in there. So yeah, if that's something you're interested in, guys, please subscribe, give us a like, and also comment below to let me know if you enjoyed the video. Right, so to bleed the clutch, once it's all plugged in and the clip is on, I'll put a bit of paper around there, and this is the bleeder. So make sure that in your brake fluid reservoir, you got plenty of brake fluid in there. So make sure you keep an eye on it, topping it up. I got it full. And what you do afterwards is, well, it's easier when you got two people actually, so one can press the clutch all the way down and the other one undoes it and does it up. Uh, so what's happening, obviously you can start by just undoing this. So you turn it anti-clockwise and you see in my case, there's already brake fluid coming out. So I'm gonna do it up and explain you what you're supposed to do. So once you undo it, there's gonna be air coming out and you're gonna see the bubbles coming out of there. And when that is happening, uh, what you have to do is wait till only clean brake fluid is coming out of there, then do it up, turn it clockwise all the way, it will lock itself, you can do it with your fingers, don't need any tools for this. And after that, feel the pedal. If the pedal feels good, if it obviously responsive and it doesn't stay all the way down, and then obviously start the car up, try it. And for that, obviously you have to put everything back on. But yeah, usually if you leave it run like this, all the air can come out because of where it is and it might be fine. But if not, if your pedal is not very responsive or there's still a lot of air coming out, what you can do is get someone in the car and what you do is um, get more paper. So once someone's in the car, you got the clutch pedal all the way up. So you uh, undo this while the pedal is all the way up. You undo it. Uh, ask the person who's in the car to press the clutch all the way down and you'll see obviously uh, make sure you're wearing goggles and you got paper on top of it because it will start uh, squirting out of there so you need to make sure that the clutch is being pressed slowly and you'll see all the air coming out and the fluid so once you pressed all the way down you do it up and tell him to put the foot up again so the clutch goes all the way up and repeat again obviously once it's all the way up open it tell him to put the clutch down and then close it again and obviously once there's no more air in there, and don't forget obviously to keep an eye on the brake fluid level, once there's no more air, your pedal should feel fine. But that's the procedure usually to bleed your clutch. Right guys, so this is pretty much it. Obviously that's what I had to do on my one after replacing everything. I've literally undone it, let it bleed for quite a while. A lot of air come out, I've kept topping it up and also shut it for a bit, went and tried the pedal. It was starting to feel a lot better because in the beginning I only was having half of the pedal force and now the whole pedal goes up and it feels much better now. Like I said, after I've done that, I've bled it once again and a lot more air come out and the brake fluid is starting to come out quite clean because it still had an old uh, brake fluid in the system. So yeah, it's looking very good now and the pedal feels very good. So like I said, for this video, if you haven't done any other work, uh, you will need to remove the air box in order to make it easier to get to the bleeder, to be honest. You don't need to remove the battery or battery tray. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, do comment below, like it, and give us a subscribe. See you later. Bye.